Located to the west of the Philippines, the Mariana Trench is the deepest part of the ocean we humans have been able to discover. At its deepest, this 1,580 mile or 2,550 kilometer long trench reaches 36,037 feet or 10,984 meters. At such a depth, marine biologists found some of the craziest creatures known to man. Number eight, frilled shark. They have been on the planet for around 80 million years. And yet, marine biologists know close to nothing about these strange fish. We know they look like an eel and they swim like an eel, but they're actually sharks. They are considered living fossils because of their old age. Unlike other fish, which have a blue or metallic skin, these have dark brown skin. They are sometimes caught by people who have gone fishing. But the frilled shark is unlike anything you can ever encounter in the ocean. If you look closely, you can see that they have these small teeth. There are about 300 of them, and they are all pointing inward. When hunting, the 6.6 foot or 2.2 meter shark will swim to the surface and capture its prey usually smaller sharks, cephalopods, or even bony fish. It's interesting to note that the frilled shark can expand its stomach to several times its normal size to consume larger prey. Number seven, zombie worms. Take a close look at this whale carcass. You don't see it from afar, but if you can zoom in closely enough, you will realize that those bones are not alone. It seems as though the bones have grown hair on them. Well, they haven't. Those are the zombie worms, also known as Osidax by their Latin name, meaning bone eater. These small worms use root tissues to latch onto the bone and suck out all of the nutritious fats from the inside. Once they do so, it's not their job to metabolize the lipids. That's a job they leave to bacteria. So in a way, they only get to the bone marrow and then outsource the digestion to a third party organism. Number six, hatchetfish. These small fish can expand their stomachs so they can devour smaller fish they come across in the ocean. You heard that right. The hatchetfish, a small Mariana Trench monster, is a predator of the deep, which also has a translucent body. That translucent body can smash that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. <laughs> ah, but no, in all seriousness, their body can emit light and unlike other fish, they can control the degree of illumination. For example, let's assume that during the day, they find small fish near the surface of the ocean. In that case, the hatchet fish will swim upwards and they will increase the bioluminescence of their body to match the light coming from the sun, making themselves nearly invisible. Capable of getting close enough to the prey, they will devour it and head back to the depths from where they came. As they descend further and further down, the intensity of their photophores will diminish. Once they reach the level of eternal darkness, their bodies will be completely dark to better blend in with the environment. Number five, the fangtooth fish. The name says it all. The fangtooth fish lives in the deepest parts of the ocean and has evolved for hunting in the eternal darkness. But food is really scarce at such depths. That's why the fang tooth is always on the lookout for its new prey. Because of their constant movement, they have overly developed muscles that allow them to swim extremely fast when they sense prey nearby, big or small. As soon as the fang tooth senses movement in the water, it strikes with ferocious speed. Only once the prey is caught can they stay in one place and rest for a while. Now, aside from the overly developed muscles, these fish also have the largest teeth in the world. Compared to their body, their teeth are the largest in the world. And because of this, the fang tooth has trouble closing its own mouth. Number four, vampire squid. Scientists have officially found one of the oldest living fossils on the planet. They are approximately 300 million years old which means the vampire squids were alive during the time of the dinosaurs. Throughout the millennia, the vampire squid has developed a special technique to survive at these depths. Their eyes are big and blue, and their primary role is to capture all of the light that they can come across. 
Their bodies are comprised of a sensory filament and eight long arms. The sensory filament is the long and thin tentacle you can see on the side. Now, we don't know a lot about these strange animals, but we do know that they defend themselves by curling their tentacles over their body and making themselves look like a ball of thorns that no one would want to touch. Number three, deep sea dragonfish. Their bodies are only six inches or 15 centimeters in length, but they are still one of the deadliest predators found in the Mariana Trench. They have smooth skin with no scales, just like an eel. Unlike eels, they are bioluminescent, which means they glow in the dark. This might seem a little unnecessary, but we have to remember that these small fish glow in the dark to attract prey. Their bioluminescence comes from a leaf-shaped extension right beneath its mouth. It's a photophore that produces light all on its own. In the eternal darkness of the Mariana Trench, smaller fish are drawn to the glowing mouth of the fish. When they do so, the dragonfish will strike fast and capture any prey that even dares to come near it. Oh, and there's also a secondary purpose of their bioluminescence. Aside from using it as a hunting mechanism, these male fish also use it during mating calls. In other words, the brighter the light, the bigger their chances of finding a mating partner. Number two, angler shark. You probably know this fish from watching Finding Nemo. It's the fish that had a bioluminescent bulb on its forehead that attracted small fish towards it. And of course, the angler shark is using this exact hunting mechanism in real life. Inside that little lure hanging by a thin thread from their forehead are thousands upon thousands of bioluminescent bacteria. The anglerfish uses them to shine light in the deepest parts of the ocean, where there's barely any. Because food is scarce, they move non-stop. From time to time, a small fish will see the light and swim close to it, a fatal mistake. As soon as the angler shark senses a fish has come close by, it doesn't even have to swim towards it. Their jaws extend outwards so they can devour their prey in seconds. If the prey is larger than their stomach could handle, they just expand their stomach to fit the catch. Number one, the goblin shark. They probably look like a shark that J.R.R. Tolkien would create in one of his books, but we wish they were imaginary. The goblin sharks are actually real and they exist in our oceans. They have been able to survive for over 125 million years and they have weird human colored skin. The goblin shark usually reaches lengths of between 10 and 13 feet, or three and four meters. However, there are records of fishermen capturing 20 foot or six meter long goblin sharks. They get their name for the very distinctive flat snout, which protruded outwards over their mouth and eyes. This is where they have ampullae Lorenzini, small sensors that have the capacity to detect electric fields which other prey produce when swimming nearby. However, unlike the great white shark, the goblin shark isn't so fast in the ocean. They have very small fins and a flabby body, which indicate precisely this. Usually, they can be found at depths of 330 feet or about 100 meters, usually feasting on smaller animals like squids, fish, crustaceans, and other cephalopods. On a related note, What's the scariest fish you've seen in the Mariana Trench? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.